So how did I become a software engineer with no CS degree and eventually land my dream job as a software engineer at TikTok? Hi, I'm Armand. In this video, I'll go over my background, interview experiences, as well as three tips that I have for newcomers trying to get their first job in tech. I currently work as a backend software engineer at TikTok. I live in downtown Seattle and I actually work at our TikTok office in Bellevue. I work on the TikTok shop team, which recently launched in the US market. And I'm a mid-level SWE who primarily writes code in Golang. For my undergrad, I went to U UT Austin where I studied electrical and computer engineering. So I actually didn't study computer science. Before I started university, I initially wanted to go into hardware and become an electrical engineer. After my freshman year, I realized all the opportunities and money were in big tech. So I realized I had to learn how to code. So here are the resources that I personally use to learn how to code and the steps that I would recommend for a beginner to follow. Firstly, I'd use free code camps to learn the basics of JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Next, I'd supplement this by taking a course on Udemy on JavaScript. Doing these first two steps fully will give you all the tools you need to start building personal projects. I'd also recommend taking something like a CS50 from Harvard University on edX. Next, I'll talk about my personal projects and some recommendations I have. I remember my first big break in tech was when I won a hackathon by building a web app to parse YouTube comments. I'm also a huge English Premier League fan and play fantasy Premier League. So while I was in college, I built this Python script to analyze all the teams within my fantasy league. I used this to win some free money from my friends, but I think this is a good example of showing you what building something you're passionate about looks like. All of my projects and source code are hosted on GitHub and hopefully this gives you some inspirations for some personal projects you can actually build. Three months prior to applying to TikTok, I did intense leak code and system design interview preparation. Um, eventually in July, 2022, I applied to TikTok as well as a bunch of other large tech companies. This was when the hiring freezes were just starting out in 2022. So the number of open jobs was drastically dropping. I remember my final rounds with Microsoft and Google ended up getting canceled due to the hiring freeze. So I'll put a screenshot of the final resume that I used to apply to TikTok as well as these other companies. I think what made my resume stand out was my industry experience with Golang. So the interview process at TikTok is a lot different from these other large tech companies. I did a total of four total interviews comprising of three coding interviews as well as one system design interview. The difference between TikTok and other large tech companies is that all of our interviews are not scheduled in one day. It's more that you pass one interview and then you move on to the next interview. So I ended up receiving an email from my recruiter around the end of August. I'd say the entire interview process took around two months from my initial contact with the recruiter all the way to the offer stage. After interviewing intensely for three months, the best offers I received were from Apple, Amazon, and TikTok. I obviously ended up choosing TikTok for a variety of different reasons. On a separate side note, I did end up joining Amazon for two months. A shout out to Necode. My experience was pretty similar to his in this video. Um, it wasn't exactly the same, but I could probably go into the details more in a future video. Now I want to give three tips for newcomers trying to get their first job in tech. So tip number one is to use the best interview prep resources available for data structures and algorithms prep, I'd say Neatcode is the best free resource available. I start by solving the Neatcode 150 two times. This will give you a solid lead code foundation that you can build upon. Pro tip, I'd highly recommend tracking your lead code problem solving progress. You need to practice active recall and spaced repetition on the problems that you've previously solved. This will prevent you from simply memorizing lead code solutions. So I personally solved over 400 lead code problems. I'll put a screenshot of my lead code profile here. I definitely could have trimmed this to 200 problems if I took the tracking approach that I said above, as well as use spaced repetition and active recall. Next, I'd highly recommend grokking the coding interview. This will give you an overview of all the lead code patterns and give you the ability to solve problems that you haven't seen before. Last, I'd highly, highly, highly recommend using interviewing .io and Pramp to practice mock interviews. I remember my senior year in university, I failed all my FANG onsites. I think this was really because I didn't do enough mock interviews. Now I'll go over the best resources for system design interviews. First, I'd highly recommend reading the system design primer on GitHub. This will give you a solid foundation for all the topics commonly covered in system design interviews. Next, I'd highly recommend grokking the system design interview. This will go over all the classical system design problems. It'll also give you a solid template that you could apply to all system design interviews. Lastly, I'd highly recommend designing data intensive applications. This will give you an in-depth overview of all the system design concepts covered in the previous two resources. So tip number two that I have is to apply to every job with a referral. When I applied to TikTok, I actually did get a referral from someone I reached out to on LinkedIn. My strategy for getting referrals was I reached out to university alums who worked at the companies that I was applying to. They're always more than happy to give you a referral because it's a win-win for both parties. They get a referral bonus if you get hired and you get a job. A referral helps because it gets you past the initial recruiter screening and it gets your resume seen by an actual hiring manager or recruiter. At TikTok specifically, refers can write 
write a referral note, which the hiring manager slash recruiter sees. This really boosts your chances of receiving an interview. So tip number three is to clean up your resume and tailor it to the position that you're applying for. So I've personally looked at over 2000 resumes these past three months, and it's pretty shocking to see how many resumes are a great fit for the position, or they just don't have data slash impact driven bullet points. I'd highly recommend having it looked over by a professional tech recruiter. I'll put the resume template that I personally use in the description, as well as the resume that I recommend for any beginner trying to get into tech. So now I'll go over some frequently asked questions from my day in the life videos. By far the most common question I get asked is, how much is your apartment rent? So I pay $2,300 per month for a one bedroom, 690 foot square foot apartment in downtown Seattle. I signed a 15th month lease where I got $1,000 off as well as two months free. I really into personal finance. So paying this much for rent really hurts my soul, but I wanted a full amenity building. So ultimately I do think it was worth it. The next question I get asked is how much is my salary at TikTok? So I'll give you a quick breakdown of my career salary progression. Uh, in 2018, I made $25 per hour as a software engineer intern. 2019, I made $32 per hour as a software engineering intern. In 2020, I made around $120,000 total compensation as a new grad software engineer at Capital One. In 2021, I received my first promo and bumped my salary up to $170,000 total compensation. In 2022, I ended up joining TikTok. I can't go over my exact salary, but if we use levels.fyi and estimate the average annual salary for a mid-level software engineer at TikTok, you can see the total compensation comes out to around $300,000. Levels.fyi also has this great tool Tool for estimating the benefits total compensation. At TikTok, by far my favorite benefit is the mega backdoor Roth IRA, as well as the free breakfast, lunch, and dinner and free gym reimbursement. The last common question I get asked is, can I refer you to my team at TikTok? I've recently posted on LinkedIn that my team is hiring for open software engineering as well as machine learning engineering roles. This goes for all levels. So if you send me a LinkedIn connection request with the message from YouTube and I see you have the right background, I'll message you back with all of the direct referral info. So that's my story on how how I became a software engineer at TikTok and some advice that I have for anyone trying to break into tech. I generally appreciate all the positive feedback I've received from my previous Stay in the Life videos. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to respond to every single one of them and I'll see you in the next video.